Alright, so right now we are jumping into the Espresso Kitchen, but for Ochend is ons Mal for Malfa Pudding. It is as South African as you can get. Now, the name Malfa is thought to come from Malfa Sia wine that was served with the pudding in the 17th century and was considered as a taste of home for the Dutch living in the newly established colony. Now, this morning, Gabby is here to share her melt-in-your-mouth version of this South African favorite, peach jam Malfa Pudding. Gabby, hey. lovely to have you in the kitchen. You too, thanks for having me. You know what? I will go straight up, favorite ever dessert oh. of mine. So good. Hey, so pudding. good in winter, especially. Oh, and we are heading into winter. This is great. This is why I'm excited for winter because of Malfa pudding. All right, so let's put it together. You've got your own little spin on it. Yes. The peach jam one. Well, everyone always uses apricot jam. That's the traditional way of making it. So we thought, oh, you know, let's make it a little bit different today. So yeah. we're going to put the jam onto the stove quickly. Okay, so you're going to make the jam. It's actually very easy. Right. We've got some salati caster sugar. Okay. We've got some peaches that I've basically taken fresh ones, taken the pips out of it and everything. Yeah. And pureed it. All right. Put that in there. So you end up with a nice smooth jam at the exactly. end. Exactly. So it's All gonna right. cook for a little while. You've got a squeeze of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice, and some salt. Okay. All you're gonna do is bring that heat up and it's slowly gonna cook by itself and it will start bubbling and let it cook for about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. As long as it's thickened up. Well, jam's ready. And then you have your peach jam. Exactly. Love Put it. it in a jar and we have a beautiful ready-made one right here. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so what we're going to do is start on the mulva pudding, and then I'm going to start on this on the sauce. So if you could whisk this up for me. Okay. We've got two eggs, our salati cast of snow. All right. And I'm going to put some of this beautiful jam in it. Oh, it's nice that is going to be delicious. Jam. I like the fact that you're using a different kind of a jam for this one. Oh, I can't explain to you how much more delicious it is to make your own <laughs> jam with it. You know, some jam I in think there. you could also feel proud if you made everything from scratch, which is that amazing is as true. well. Yeah. Very, very true. So listen, if you want to get your hands on the recipe, very easy. SMS the keyword salati to 33728 and they'll send oh, you good. the shopping list and also a link to the recipe that you can go follow. Oh, okay, it's delicious. Okay, so what What's we got next? here, some flour. All right. We're going to stir in some salt and some bicarb. All right, so the dry ingredients going in together. Exactly, we're just going to stir that together, very simple. And we've got some butter over here and some vinegar and milk. Okay. We're going to put on the stove, but we won't do that now because actually the most important yes. thing about this is making this sauce. Okay. So you can stir that in, this is actually quite warm. Yes. And then all the whole thing is putting everything together at the end. Right. But the most important part of mulva pudding is after you've baked it, oh. you pour a beautiful sticky sauce over it. I mean, that is that is the secret the to a good mulva pudding. Exactly. So yes. we've got How some butter here. How do we make the here. sauce? It's actually very simple. We've got some butter here. Add everything to a pot. Okay. So nice idea, a little tot of brandy or yes. sherry. is always very delicious. All right. Um, if you don't want to use alcohol, you can always do a vanilla essence yeah. or vanilla extract if you've got children around. All right. And what is that? Fresh cream. Fresh cream. And we've got our muscovado sugar. This makes Beautiful. it really That's sticky. That's going to add a nice caramelly flavor oh, to it. Oh, you have it. no idea. So delicious. Oh, this is going to be delicious. Try your hand at this one. This keyword this morning for our peach jam uh, malfa pudding is salati. SMS salati to 33728. SMSs do cost one rand fifty, but you can find those T's and C's on our website as well, expressoshow.com. But it definitely is something. If you've never made malfa pudding before, you need to make a malfa pudding. So we're going to finish off our sauce at the moment. But if you want to see those steps again, here's your chance. For the jam, place chopped peaches, sugar, lemon juice and salt into a pot and bring to boil. Boil for 10 minutes and allow to cool. For the pudding, beat sugar, eggs and homemade jam until pale and fluffy. Mix flour, bicarbonate of soda and salt. Melt butter, then stir in the vinegar and milk. Add dry ingredients to the sugar and egg mixture and combine. Then add the buttery milk mixture and whisk until smooth batter forms. Pour batter into an oven dish and bake for 40 minutes. For the sauce, place cream, butter, sugar and sherry into a pot and melt together. Pour the sauce over the pudding as soon as it comes out the oven. For the custard, mix custard, cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, cloves and salt. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to espressoshow.com. SMS the keyword SALATI to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. And that keyword once again, SALATI to 33728. Gabby, this is fantastic. This is really Thank great. Thank you. Right, so just to finish it off quickly, so we poured the sauce on there. It's soaked yes. in nicely after it came out the oven. 
So it's super it's easy. easy. Yes, exactly. Come on, dish us out a scoop there. So now what we're going to do here is what we have over here is mulva pudding. What do you traditionally serve mulva pudding with? Custard. Exactly. Custard. So what we've done is we've been very sneaky and we've got and made a spicy custard. So oh, wow. go to the shops so and grab yourself some custard and put in some beautiful spices. We've got some cardamom, what is there? cardamom yeah. cinnamon, ground cloves. Oh, oh, wow. I mean, can you, this is just, And look you at know. that, and we have to, come You have on. to, come We now. have to pour it over, let's go for it. Look at that, Salati to three, three, seven, two, eight. Oh, goodness, in a bowl. True South there African peach jam alpha pudding, Salati to three, three, seven, two, eight. Always good, always sweet, beautifully flavorful Salati sugars add the perfect touch to your day. Salati, inspired by nature. That looks absolutely amazing. Now, this afternoon, guest chef Peter Daniels, he'll be on Afternoon Express in the loft to teach us about the benefits of eating raw ingredients. It is promised to be inspirational and absolutely delicious. Tune in to Afternoon Express at 4 p.m. That's on SABC3. And they'll be making a basil and hemp seed pesto as well as a green smoothie. Head on over to Afternoon Express on Facebook, like the page, get the ingredients list, and get ready to cook along with the Afternoon Express foodies.